of the Newberry Wolves. They win today 79 to 70. I want to get you to uh, discuss a little bit about your senior, Demarcus Smith. I know you want to talk about him, but I want to start with a personal comment. You know, humility is hard to come by. Every time I think I know this league, I get humbled. I'm telling you, this was a great game today, and it could have gone either way. No, there's no doubt about it. It was, uh, it was not the prettiest of basketball games, but uh, – uh, winning ugly is, is definitely better than losing ugly, and uh, our kids did it, did what they've been doing, and that is uh, made plays at the end of the game and uh, got ourselves a little bit of a, a, a lead there that gave us some breathing room uh, late after the game was tight, I thought, uh, uh, most of the way. So um, uh, an interesting game. As, as you know, Gary, we're playing a very, 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 very different style with uh, – uh, really only seven uh, uh, healthy uh, guys, and um, and it's making us uh, do some things differently, and uh, we've been doing those uh, uh, better for sure. Uh, but uh, uh, today I thought we just survived. It's, it's kind of getting to that survive and advance time of year, and, uh, and certainly we found a way to win today. You mentioned big plays, 309 to play. DeMarcus hits a three-point shot. What would you tell the team at that point? Well, it just gave us breathing room for sure and gave our team uh, some confidence. You saw our bench bouncing around at that point. The guys on the court were lighting up, and uh, and that was uh, that was pretty uh, pretty special uh, uh, for Mark. He wasn't feeling the most, uh, most confident from three, but he sure made one at a big time. Speaking of DeMarcus Smith, one of two seniors, Dondre Walker, as we as we well know, out for the season. But Demarcus on his senior day, 20 points uh, for Demarcus today, and it seems with every game, uh, Dave, he's he's just becoming more and more aggressive. Well, it's amazing, you know, uh, what he has done, and um, uh, and t and tonight, you know, you, he just wanted to win so bad. I think he was a little bit nervous and uh, certainly a little bit emotional. So uh, I think that took. Took a toll on him, but eight rebounds, you know, from a – he wants to be called a six-foot guy, but he's a 5'10 guy. And uh, that was uh, that was really, really a, uh, a huge effort from him, and we certainly needed every rebound that he got. I can relate. I'd just like to be called a 5'10 guy, but maybe someday. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Xavier Holmes, great game by Xavier. He scored 21 points uh, Wednesday night against Queens. He comes in tonight 19 <laughs> again. It seems with every game he's improving. Well, he's been unbelievable. I mean, he's probably shooting 70, 80 percent over the last 10 games, and uh, Zay really wanted the ball uh, tonight. I don't think we gave it to him enough, but uh, boy, did he make uh, spectacular plays when we did give it to him. How about your defense? They only got Morris Hill only got to the line 13 times. Yeah, I think we we, we did some things uh, again different there uh, than, than we've been doing for sure, and. Uh, and we were fortunate. Uh, uh, we did not do a good job uh, defensive rebounding in the game, and that gave uh, gave Mars Hill more chances, cer certainly than we wanted to give him. But uh, you know, it was it was a find a way to win kind of game, and our guys did that. You're gonna have to find a way Wednesday. It gets no easier. Wing it, the second best, well, record-wise, second best record uh, in the conference will sure. be here Wednesday. You've got two games left. Wing it here, Carson Newman on the road, and you don't even have time to breathe right behind you is Rob Perrone and Perrin and the Catawba Indians. Well, I you know, I haven't even looked at the standings, Gary, to be honest with you. I think we just need to uh, focus as hard as we can on winning uh, the next game. And uh, and if we do that, uh, everything else will take care of itself. Um, the league is, is, is ridiculous. You know, we could have, should have won at, uh, at Wingate, and uh, that's a team that we're capable of beating, but uh, they have already proven they're a team capable of beating us. So it, every night in the South Atlantic Conference, you get a, you get a chance to do two things, and, uh, and fortunately we came out on the, on, the, on the strong end tonight. I thought, I thought Brandon Taylor was ridiculously aggressive tonight as well. He, he got in foul trouble, and we had to keep him on the bench a, a bunch, but um, the four for five from him, three for three at the line, and just uh, – you know, played with this this emotion that was uh, that was pretty special and and really helped us. Do you sometimes almost have to curb the enthusiasm of someone like Brandon Taylor, or do you feed into that and say, "Son, please use that." Well, we need him, and uh, uh, he's one of the few. Emo you know, you can't play Newberry basketball without emotion, and the, and the head coach is is overly emotional at times, and uh, and Brandon Taylor is overly emotional at times. And we talked about this with our guys the other day. But you know what? I'll take that over. Uh, quiet and uh, uh, we need that and he knows we need that so he's bringing it does does he cross the line uh, uh, from time to time he does 
for sure, and I do, and, and that's not right, and that certainly hurts us, but um, but it is it is what we need, and we need everybody else uh, jumping on board with that emotional train. Well, let me be blunt with you. Sometimes after I watch your game, I have to go lay down in a dark room and put a cold <laughs> rag on my head. I mean, it, is, it, it really is a fun style of play. Not just your team, but you have defended this league, and you're, you're selling me because this is a this is a well-balanced league. Amazing, amazingly balanced, and I don't know what happened with games tonight, but uh, uh, there are no more surprises. I mean, the, whoever you think might win, uh, they might win, but they might not. And uh, so, so <laughs> you know, just just we've got to worry about Newberry. We've got to get healthier. We got to get James Ashby back. He'll be back after this game. He's been uh, at home uh, uh, celebrating his his grandmother's uh, life, uh, who who passed away, and. Uh, and we've missed James, and uh, uh, we've just got to keep getting stronger. You have two games remaining. I was just going to ask you about kind of the state of the team health-wise, attitude-wise, and work-wise going into these last two games. Well, I think we've won four in a row now, Gary, so I know uh, our guys are feeling good about themselves, and, and, and they know that, that uh, there are plenty of things for us to improve, but they also know they're making plays uh, at critical times in the game, and, and that's how you win. Uh, and... Uh, We've, uh, we've got to correct some things. We've got to get better at some things. But uh, just, just, um, just, just pleased that we've got it turned around when uh, the adversity actually has increased. You know, so, since Dondre got hurt, we, we've just had something thrown at us virtually every game. And, and, and then there's been games where we've been without four or five guys. And uh, these guys keep responding, and they're a special group. And uh, they're just very excited about tonight's win. Head Coach Dave Davis of the Newberry Wolves, as always, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Gary. I will take a 60-second break and wrap it up on WKDK.